Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions Crystal Opening. So we're going to find out how we did in the season. I know it's really late, uh, but better late than never, right? Uh, shout out to the top three uh, for the season. Uh, Utopia, Assassins Reloaded, and New Nation. So congratulations there. Uh, we're going to find out how we did in a moment. Now, I don't have the email. The email actually expired. Uh, that's how long it's been, how late I am. Uh, however, I did not claim it from the rewards here. So as you can see, we got 5,000 six-star shards, 30,000 five-star shards. This is a 5% tier five class catalyst fragment crystal, of course, the T5 basic, and three tier two alphas. All right, not bad rewards. We got uh, rank 403, which placed us in platinum four. Now, a little disappointed because, uh, let me show you guys the difference in rewards. All right, so let's go on over here to the Alliance season, season rewards. Uh, we don't need to look at the master ranks because we, we don't care about that. But here are the platinums, okay? So as you can see, we got platinum four, but just one, one tier up, platinum three, which is what we got last year, or last season, uh, we would have gotten 10,000 six-star shards. I would have been almost to a third six-star uh, to open up for you guys. As it is now, I almost have enough for two, and we'll open something up to uh, get what we need there. Okay, and then 15,000 for Platinum 2, 20,000 for uh, Platinum 1. Obviously, I'm focused more on the six-star shards because that's what I'm wanting to build up my roster with. I don't really care so much about the five-star shards. Uh, and then you can see here the uh, 10 percenters, um, you got 10% here, two of them, uh, which also will help me rank up my six stars. So out of all of these, the big boy prizes that I focus on are the six star shards and those fragment crystals. Now the fragment crystals you can get and we get every week, all right? Um, they've increased the uh, T2 alpha uh, that are available in the game because you can get now five from the glory store, which are glory. So that's cool. Um, so uh, not bad rewards, but I'm hoping that we will be able to hit platinum three and we should be able to uh, without too much effort and, and too many item use. All right, now for the crystal opening and let's go over here and I will show you, as you can see here, we're almost, once we claim the five star, 5,000 six star shards, we're almost at a second six star. All right. So, first, let's go ahead and claim those shards. Okay. Claim it. All right. Now, what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to see here, make sure. Yeah. All right. So we, we really just need a dupe, a five star dupe. Uh, I went through and I don't have any other ways to get uh, six star shards right now. Um, I exhausted all of them. So there's mutant skill on right now for at least another four hours. And I toyed with the idea of doing an opening uh, for mutant and skill because I still don't have a name more, okay? But it's all good. Let's grab one of these and we are going to pop up the only mutant champion, really the only champion that I want uh, from this crystal. Now, if it's name more, awesome. Uh, we will open up another one so that we can get the six star, uh, the second six star shard, um, second six star crystal. Uh, but if it's not Namor, more uh, shards, and we'll be able to open up that six star without using up too many of these shards. And I can save them for another video. 
All right, slowing down on its own. What do we got? Namor? I don't even see Namor coming around. Hey, where are you? Where are you? Oh, uh, that's cool. Um, he is already max sig. So that means that I have even more potential six star shards because uh, that's going to give me a max signature ability crystal. And the most common reward from that crystal are the uh, six star shards. All right. But it's all good. That's what we were uh, looking for. So now we have enough for two six star crystals. All right, let me uh, get rid of that one there. And before we open up the six star, let's go ahead and open up one of these guys. You never know. Uh, they have increased the drop rates. So maybe we won't get a three star. Maybe we will get a, a five or even a six star. Uh, it is possible for us to get a six star that we really want. You know, I saw Apocalypse in there. Uh, would love to get him as a six star. I saw Professor X. Would love to get him as a six star. Um, really would love to get a Warlock uh, out of that. That would be awesome. I saw Human Torch in there. Uh, so really just depends. I've seen some really good things come out of here, but you still have a great chance of pulling a three star. All right, so... Uh, let's see. This one was free. Uh, so what do we got? And hey, at least it's not a three star. All right. So that's more five star shards uh, replenishing our five star stock that we just uh, used a little bit of. All right. Let's get on to the six stars. And let's get down here because I do not want to open up accidentally a six star uh, featured. All right, so let's grab it. And we're gonna do a little pet method this time. Go out, go back in, go out, a little superstition, go back in. And let me grab this graphic up here and wispin it. So on the left, you see the champions that I want the most out of this crystal. Doom and Silver Surfer are top prestige options. Would love to get those. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider, Apocalypse. Uh, we've got Human Torch and, of course, Warlock. Really would love to get a Warlock. Uh, but I have all of these champions as five stars currently. Uh, Human Torch was the most recent, but everyone else is uh, 565. Uh, not SIG 200, but uh, Doom and Silver Surfer are SIG 200. Uh, Cosmic Ghost Rider... Uh, is not even awakened as a five star yet. He doesn't need to be. Uh, and of course, Human Torch, I just got. So he's not ranked five yet. All right, it's slowing down. What do we got, guys? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we already have him. It's a dupe, but it does awaken him. And Hood, if you saw the options or, or the uh, rework that we had earlier for him, his signature ability may become very, very useful. Right now, it's okay. Uh, but that rework, I'm, I'm looking at that rework. Uh, and so that may be really good. And he's going to go up uh, to at least rank two. Okay. So we still have uneven, by the way, uh, six-star teams. So it'd be nice to get a new champion uh, from here. More points in the arena. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, it takes so long to pull these guys, you know? Any new champion would be awesome. Now, I didn't mention the ones I want awakened. Uh, Thing would be great to awaken. Uh, Sorcerer Supreme uh, would be great to be awakened, but the big boy awakening would be Ghost out of those three. Ghost is who I would want. She's already ranked three. The other two, Sorcerer Supreme and Thing, are ranked two right now. So, would love... To awaken my ghost and if you saw my previous opening you know that i awakened a champ that i really wanted he's no longer on that graphic uh so i'm due for some dupes that uh, i probably don't want double dupes but that uh hood not bad all right slowing down what do we got somebody good anybody new that ain't right. do i have him i mean he's not good but i think that's a new Yes, it's a new champion, so I do not mind that. 
Uh, so we now have, I believe, even arena teams. Let's take a look. Uh, you probably uh, won't see anybody being so excited to get an Ebony Maw because he's not good. However, it's a new champion. Uh, so that's more points in the arena. Let's, uh, let's see. Six stars. All right. So here we go. And okay. So yeah, I think that evens us out. Let's uh, uh a little shortcut way because I don't feel like uh, uh counting. Uh, let's see. In here, when you go to incursions, you can look at your uh, rewards up here, and it'll tell you how many. So we have sixty six. All right. So that's gonna be even arena teams. Nice. All right, guys, that is gonna do it. I will rank up that uh, Ebony Maw uh, during the next level up. We now have even arena teams. And honestly, Ebony Maw, I like fighting with him. His damage isn't good, but his animations are so smooth. Uh, he already got somewhat of a rework uh, or a buff I'm hoping they do something else for him again, but not a bad um, a pull only because it's a new champion for me. Uh, but that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. I did. You know, a, a first time awakening and a new champion, even if it's Ebony Maw, is definitely not bad. All right. Better than a double dupe of a champion that I already had duped and wasn't going to use. All right, so take care. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.